how come you have no emotions hikaru you have zero emotion i'm like going on a roller coaster of emotions oh i'm, 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 I'm well because i know that the play will not be be so high i think i think like if i if i know the players are a little bit higher i would i would be much more animated guys i guess you could say i have low next, expectations that's what that's what i can say the next players to please get high and play the matches <laughs> and in rating of course guys <laughs> Hey, I'm back. Yeah, yeah. I I heard you were you were giving some kind of uh, you. lecture. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So he he was very sad and he was like, you know, I lost. And I was like, don't worry, you have to stay hydrated, drink some water. You'll be fine. You know. Mm-hmm. He'll 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 he's, live. He'll live. Yeah. He'll live. He'll live. He'll yeah. be fine. All right. Let's let's see next game. Randomize. Okay. So far so far it's going well for you I think. Normally normally I start out start out slowly. So I think uh I think I think you should be very worried. This is what the hmm. Nidorf This is just 1780 player playing some developing mm-hmm. moves. <laughs> no, no, you know what's funny is I think I think I played an Indian player in the World Youth and I I don't know if they played bishop to d3 or queen d3 but they played something like this in um against me in like in uh, a World Youth Chess Championship and like 2000 and 2099 something oh. very similar to this 2099 sorry i said i said 2000 or 1999 sorry ah uh. yes but still either way yeah that was a very long time ago of course do you think our chess will ever be solved um i would say doubtful is what i would say D- doubtful by the way Yeah, I mean maybe 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 if computers get to some kind of there's some computing advance, it's possible, but I I don't really see it happening. I at least in terms of it being like a hard solve where, you know, when you play E4 it's a draw in like 50 moves. I just don't see it. That's what I'm saying. You know, I, I was I was watching this amazing movie uh, called uh, Alpha Go. Have you have you watched this? Yes, I have actually. Yeah. Mhm. It's so cool and uh, just seeing that Lee uh, Sidong if how he defeats that computer and then he says you know defeating this computer once make makes me believe there's still hope for humanity and that's right. such a powerful line and uh, you know it's like i just hope that it never gets solved man i hope that we are still always but, but always I mean, some but, but, beauty but, isn't, but you know? isn't that kind of the point though like go is not actually it's not hard solved like the the computers beat the humans but it's not like it knows from move one that this this but go is also more complicated than chess no but True. True. Very, yeah, it's much more complicated. But yeah, I mean so, that that was a great I watched it and that was a great 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 documentary. It's like it's like when when for example I saw Vishy versus Ian there was a move he made um mm-hmm. Vishy makes a move and the bar doesn't understand the computer doesn't understand it then it understands and that, these moments are when I'm like oh there's still hope for humanity you know that yeah, but that, can still play some amazing chess. That's vanishing that, quickly though. <laughs> uh-huh. a- thank you. Thank you Hikaru for breaking <laughs> all my hopes. Well, but but because I think the thing that's actually even more crazy, like if I think about just AlphaGo, is that like that after that documentary, there was like a better version of the computer that came out, and, and that better version of AlphaGo beat the version that that beat Lisa Dahl by like it beat it beat that version 100 to zero or something. So wow. like it, it just improved beyond like it's yeah it's just crazy. Have you ever uh, got the chance to play against Alpha Zero? No, I haven't had that opportunity. I, I don't think anyone has actually, except maybe Kramnik. Um, but it's like, but what's the thing is like it's I don't even know how to put it. It's, you you can't learn anything. That's the problem. Like you lose every game, and there's nothing you can learn. Um, so hey, that seems like all my chess dreams, man. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. But although the difference is though, like if you play me and you lose a game, I can actually tell you what I did. Like I have an actual reasoning behind it. and the computer can't tell you. So it's like you lose the computer, the computer can't even explain anything. At least if you lose to me, I can tell you why I played that move and like what my idea was. Whereas the computer it just gives you some numerical thing and that's it. So you never can actually learn anything. Yeah, and I was seeing some of the games like Levy had done this uh, video where he was analyzing the games mm-hmm. and it was just amazing how Alpha Zero plays just playing B3, B4, B5 and then just going mm-hmm. strangulating the opponent, just suffocating them. and well, not following any theory right but the, the problem is then like cuz top players are trying to improve their game we know that computers play the best chess but then the problem with that is that when we um by the way your guys losing uh, in the meantime oh no but 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 when like when we when top players try to use we try to think like computers and do these things it becomes like you don't you don't really understand what you're doing anymore because 
Um, it's like, okay, it plays B3 and then B4. And so like, if I use, try to apply that in my thought process, it's like, well, in this position, I'm gonna, should I push the pawn two squares or one square? But like, there's no difference to me. Like, so then you start to wonder like, what is, what exactly does computer even see? Like, what is, what is chess at all? Kind of. Yeah. What is chess at all? Exactly. Yeah. You know, because the way that Alpha Zero comes, uh, learns chess is by playing against itself. And right. that's what I was the most fascinating part of that uh, documentary. What they made, uh, they showed a scene where they made this computer play uh, that simple game where there's a ball that you hit and it breaks a block, it comes back to you, you hit it again. And as the computer kept playing it again and again, it kept getting better and better and better and kept realizing the best way to play it. And right. that's what it did with chess. It kept playing with itself and again and again, and then it found out the best way to play chess. So literally, like, what is chess? Uh, it makes you question that. What is theory? What do we... Right, know? exactly. It just, it just doesn't make any sense at all. No, it's it's very true. This game's really, really intense. Let's see. Oh, man. Rook g4. Save it, please. Yes. Oh, no. Good move. Very good move. Mm -hmm. Yes, very good. <laughs> Do you need another break? <laughs> Just need 10 seconds, man. <laughs> All right. Why? What did you? I'm, I'm on mute. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> okay, so it's 3 3, so it's getting very, very, uh, getting very, 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 very close, you guys. Hey, I'm back. Yep. Yep. So I, I hope right. that went well. It's uh, you might need to improve though, because that's two times you've done this now in a row, and it definitely has gone the wrong way. No, no. This time I actually showered uh, this person with real love, and I said, you know, it's okay, and you can do it. And th this this guy has all this. The next guy has always won the battles. Every time he has stepped here, he has won. So he's on. He's like the Floyd Mayweather of my team. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, let's see. Does the game start or not? Okay. Did you, uh, by any chance, follow the match, uh, the hug it out match today between Floyd and... Uh, oh, uh, I didn't... I, I mean, I read some stuff. I wasn't going to pay forty nine ninety nine for it because I knew it would be unsatisfying. Um, so I would Unsatisfying I was... would have been an upgrade. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, I just... I, I knew when... Um, I mean, I, I, I never paid for any of the matches, but I, I knew when I was following the other one with McGregor and it was, it was also kind of not super exciting, I knew this one would be even less exciting. So that that's that that's what I would say. Yeah, I I mean I, I knew it was going to be something like that, but also it's very smart. Be, but smart, but also kind of why the whole thing is a joke is that I knew um, like why would Mayweather want to knock out uh, Paul? I mean he probably could have, but why would he want to? Because why he, not? he's mean, retired. But silly game, just throw like throwing a big punch and just get all that pride, right? Like look, I this guy was trying to be cool and now I beat him. Right, but I mean, at the end of the day, you you would rather have a shot at a hundred million dollars again than than like not having a shot, especially since he's retired. What would you do? Would you beat me? Like, if if you and I were in a boxing match and you were like a pro, uh -huh. you know, wouldn't you like? Wouldn't you like be like? Let me just punch this guy down and get all the clout and like you know, because right now it's. I think it was they hugged so much in that match, it uh -huh. did more damage to Floyd than Logan. I feel. But I mean, he just wants to get paid. I mean, that's, that's just true. that's just second name is money. Yeah, I mean, that's just American capitalism. I mean, that, that's all it is. Like everybody just wants to get paid. Um, but but yeah, I mean, I I think actually at some. But but the problem also I think is that he probably wasn't he he wasn't ever tested, so he never was in any danger. That's the thing. Like. Um, if, if he was in danger, I think I think Mayweather, like the instinctive, like just being a boxer, like those natural instincts could come out. But because he was never in danger, like there was never like a, a one hit that just like la there was never a punch that really landed. Like he never he never had it never kicked in. But I think if he had been in like in danger, he had gotten like knocked around a little bit. Then I think at some point that those instincts would have kicked in. But yeah, but he was never in that situation, so it was easy to kind of not not have to like think like that um, because like I, I i could see logan had his guard down most of the time his hands were down he was not defending himself mm -hmm. so you know yeah well i mean because like when i think about it in chess it's kind of the same way like if, if i think about playing like someone who's like let's just say they're, they're 2000 level if, if like i'm just winning the whole game or it's like just very calm kind of i'm never really i never have to get like super competitive or really into it but if, if, if i end up in a bad position at some point those natural instincts start to kick in so that that's kind of the thing. It's like it, it's one of those situations where um, where I think because there there was there was he was never in danger. Mayweather never really the, he didn't have to really think like that. Oh, something happened here. Yeah, something hey, good happened. Please explain what happened. Yeah. Yeah, something good happened here. But yeah, it's I I I knew it was not going to be good. 
I, I, I knew it would not be good. All right. All What's right, the movie? Queen H3, I would play here. Yeah. That's a move. It's a good move. Maybe a great move. No, Maybe no, no. I, I don't rush you. I don't rush you. I don't rush you. <laughs> Queen G6, though, I think is a very, very bad move. Because what it does is it creates a threat that's too obvious, or should be too obvious. What is the threat? Yeah. Yeah, see, the, the problem with this move is that it forces white to play a move to stop the checkmate, and now you never have a never have a threat. That, that's the problem. How about knight uh, f5 now? Also a move. Maybe a great move again. I, th I think it's a great move. Yes, it's a great move. Yes. Man... <laughs> I, I know, man. Why do I even ask you? It's it's not over though. It's still anything could happen here. To be fair, it's still not clear. There's still enough pieces on the board that even though it's completely winning for one side, it, it, it you know it could go the other way too. Can you go uh, like? Can you sack at any point on knight takes g3, pawn takes like right now the knight yeah. is guarding it. No, I mean that's also a possibility. Sack? I mean it could be very dangerous in a move or two. Possibly, could be very dangerous. Or maybe knight h4 is also coming sometime. That's also knight possible. Knight h4 the idea, knight yeah. f3. It really depends on what happens in the next like two or three moves. But this could go either way. I, I think your, your guy could still win this position for sure. Also the time. Time is the big factor. Yeah, t yeah time actually matters more than anything in, 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 yeah. um, in these, these sub-battle games. Time can heal or ruin anything. Mm -hmm. I like okay, this wait, move actually. Move? Even though it's not the best move, I like this move. How about rook c8, get tempo on queen, and then go knight takes h4? It's a possible move. You can also trade the rooks. Okay. It's actually a good move. My guy needs to move faster. Come on, Emil. Faster. Faster. Come on, Emil. Ah. Uh, all right, all right, all right. Wow, that's a great move. Very, very good move. Come on, this Emil. Keep going, move. keep going. Keep going, Emil. Keep going. Take your time, Emil. There you go. How about Rook E one eight right now? Rook E eight. That's and yeah, I... yeah. Rook D one could be a move. Oh, Rook D one. No, 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 no. <laughs> you said Rook D one. But both. I, I mean, mean, the it... problem is both players are low on time. Anything can happen here. Why would you? Think? Why would you? Take the Rook. Take the Rook. It's in the Rook. It's free. The Rook was free. The Rook was free, man. The Rook was free. Teams, the rook is still free. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's still a moves. Oh yeah, it's good. Take, take, what? take, take, take. Move the king. Come on, move the king. Move, move, move. Go a mill, just fast, 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 fast. Do not hang your queen. Do not hang your queen. Go a mill, just move, just move. Exchange, exchange. No. What? Play fast. Move. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, do not he wins. Exchange. He has more not time. Exchange. But he is now thinking. Why are you thinking? <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious. Oh, oh, we won, right? Yeah, yeah, you got one point three. Uh, that was crazy. Oh. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! If only I had my heart rate monitor over here. Yeah, that that really went back and forth. Time matters a lot at the end of these games. It really does. Yeah, That's awesome. That's awesome. It's up one. You're up one point. Still a long way to go. 4-3. All right. All right. Okay. All right. We Up next, we have Atulia 124. And as we keep going to the lower rated players. It becomes much more predictable. Yeah. And it becomes much more fun. Yes, exactly. Yeah. No, this is... Uh... Okay. So far, yeah, normal. <laughs> Let's see what, what's right. happening. Okay, pretty normal. Very classic. I love how all these players are playing the correct openings, developing all the pieces, and then suddenly I don't know what happens to them in the end game. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, but the thing is also the, the that's the thing is like the end game doesn't probably doesn't really matter so much. Other, like other than really basic end games, like end games don't matter probably until you're already like. I would say 1800, maybe 1800 or thereabouts. Like end games, like balanced end games just don't happen until maybe that level or, or around there. Someone's already winning by that point most of the time.
D five is not a good move, right? It blocks our bishop. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Blo it blocks the uh, blocks the diagonal. Yes. Okay, just get exchange it, I guess. It's a good. Mm -hmm. Oh no. Hmm. I have understood now the difference between good knight, bad bishop, and you know. That's very good that you this. understood that that uh that the pawn on D that push was not good because it's not that's not the most obvious thing to think about like you know how it closes the diagonal for the bishop on A two so it's actually that's actually very good. Are you nervous about the match now? One minute. Not really. Not really. Because I think All anything right. anything can happen here. But I will say that right now this is not looking good mainly because of the time. The time is a big problem for my guy. It's uh, thirty seconds more. That's a big problem. I just hope we win this. I get the lead. I'm comfortable. <laughs> Sub battles oh, usually don't work out that way. Usually they're close until the end. But maybe. Maybe this time it won't be. We'll see. Okay, knight e2. Knight yes. d4. Mm -hmm. There you go. That was not Looking such a very... decision. Yeah. Hey, knight uh, c6 is there somewhere, right? Mm, it was one of those moves, but not necessarily. I mean, yeah, very, very, very unclear. They're moves for both sides. Let's see. Okay, rook f5. That's that's actually a good move. Um, rook e8 is a very good move too. Why is he not going knight c6? Um, probably because he sees a trick. Now he goes. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Okay. Pretty pretty normal still. I think sometimes when you're winning it, just you're more nervous. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. I, well, I think when you know you're winning, it's not just like just a normal position, but when you know that you have a really really good position, it's very easy to to um, become confused. Also, I think your guy's gonna win because the time situation is already so bad. So it's it's hard to see your um, your guy not winning this. He would have to make some kind of special blunder like that. <laughs> but I'm not sure my guy will gone? find the move. What is the move? Uh, there's a certain move. There's some forks. Oh, he saw it. Wow. Although it's okay, still not it's queen? still not obvious. Yeah, it's it's yeah, still yeah, not yeah. obvious because there's still more moves to the sequence. But my guy has time. Yeah, there he goes. He move. finds the move. Let's see if my guy can find the move here. There's still no move here. Yeah, there's 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 a move that um that wins the rook. Okay, let's see. Ah, I see what you're saying. F6, come on. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Found it. Wow. But the problem is the time is so bad here. I mean, unless my guy magically is a, a specialist in blitz, he's gonna lose on time. Cause he's down he's down one minute here. Okay, you gotta go, Tiger. You gotta go. Okay, good. Okay, oh. keep going. Keep going. Why are you desperate to exchange queen, man? Okay, is this good for uh, white? No, it's very bad for white. But only 24 seconds. Oh, there he goes! So proud! I'm so proud. Yeah, that was that was pretty bad. How come you have no emotions, Hikaru? You have zero emotion. I'm going on a roller coaster of emotions. Oh, here. I'm, 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 I'm well because I know that the play will not be be so high. I think I think like if I if I know the players are a little bit a little bit higher, I would I would be much more animated. But because the players, I, I... they're not higher. That's the point. Yeah, they're not higher, so I've gotten used to the. I've gotten used to it. I I have. Uh, so guys, I guess you could say I have low next, expectations. That's what. That's ask what I can say. The next players to please get high and play the matches, <laughs> and in rating, of course, guys. <laughs> oh no, you give up. On... Oh, but okay. you. Yeah, I mean, three seconds. he almost, he he almost misplayed that there. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> he almost misplayed that. Boom. That was pretty insane. There yeah, you go, guys. There you go. Yeah, now it's now. I mean, now you're you're looking good with with, with what four four to go. You're up two. So let's see. Okay. All right. 
So my guy really needs to needs to, needs to play this well here. If he doesn't play this well, yeah. then um this this could be this could be it almost. Any motivational talks that you can give your guy? I think Go my ahead. guys are doing well. They're just, there's really it's just time. I mean, and I, I don't even know how to say that across different levels even because it's just it's just all about time. It's just about time. That's all that that's all that really matters. And it's hard there's because a... when you tell someone to just make a move quickly, it's like then they just blunder. So it's like there's some kind of weird. There's some weird balance, and I, I don't know how to explain it, but there's some kind of balance. You know, there's a, there's a saying in India that it goes "lato ke boot bato se nahi mante," which means that the ghost that needs to be mm-hmm. kicked away with your leg, you can't ask him to go away with your words. Ah, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. No, no, I mean it's. So you need to really, you know, grind on your members, and that's. Oh, look at that! Look at that blunder! Woo-hoo. Oh, what was that? What was F three? That was very weird. That move. was that was a lack of fear. I think you have not made them scared enough to play this <laughs> battle. That's all it is. Oh, lay queen h4 check. Go ahead. Made in two yeah, man. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's just that's just weird. What was that? That that felt like a throw. I'm telling you, Garu, it works every time. You <laughs> have to you have to you have to give them some you know prep talk. Normally my subs do quite well actually. That was uh that was super- that that actually was the worst game by a big margin. Worst game. Not 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 even close. Yikes. <sighs> All right. Okay. 5-3, right? 5-3. Yeah. Is it 5-3? No, I think it's 6 I think it's 6-3, isn't it? That's 3 in a row if I'm not mistaken. I think. All right, chat, uh, only you can tell us. Up next is Master Manish, twenty-one. Yeah. Actually, no. I think it's five. Th- it's five three. I think. Yeah, I think it's, I think it's five three actually. So it's it's not. Um... It's five three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it, it, no, it, it is six. I don't know. My chat say half my chat says five three. Ha- the other half says six three. I'm not sure. My chat saying eight three, man. Come on, chat. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, it's, it's they say it's sixty. They say it's sixty. All right, all right, okay. okay, yeah, okay, pretty normal. There you go, guys. Everybody watching, please like the stream and please uh, somebody put Hikaru's channel link in the chat. I'll pin it. Go we'll pay a visit. He does amazing, amazing content. I mean, of course, he's one of the best grandmasters. Who else can make such great content? So please go check it out. Okay, I'm trying to get. Okay, I I think my guy has a good position here. He's doing well, but he's also 936. Yes, of course, but he's doing well, I think. There is like these games are like alpha zero, man. You can never predict anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I mean I I know he's doing well, but I I base that only on the structure of the pawns, nothing else. That that's all that I base it on, nothing else but the structure of the pawns. Let's see. I think what's going to happen is knight b5 and knight c7. That's a that's an interesting idea. Wow, queen e3 is a pretty good move. Pretty good move here. Let's see. Okay. Thank you, Joy. Hey, how do you play poker? Uh, I used to play quite seriously, yeah. Why? Chad was asking, just you know, some super stats. I was just going through them. Yeah, I mean, I, I used to play, but I, I think the the problem is like in order to be very good at chess, you. Have, ooh. Oh yes. Okay, Chad is now saying it's five three again. Okay, Chad, it's five three. Okay, okay, okay. Here we go. Um, but but yeah, I mean, I used to play, but the problem is like in poker, it requires like the same kind of analytical skills for chess. But there's that there's that factor of luck that like especially if you get to like the upper levels of chess, don't really it's not something you can apply in the same way. So, but I, I mm-hmm. is it really luck? Well, I I feel that poker is like like ninety percent skill, maybe ten percent luck, very little luck. I mean, I but the problem with that is that I think it requires you playing for like a whole lifetime for that to be true, probably. Uh, that, that's for you to problem. understand. Well, because I mean, I, I, I mean, for example, if I play poker, let's just say I play poker for the next week, I could, I could just play odds. I could play it correct and and lose like all the time. Like I could just play very well and just lose. So over those two weeks, it's very bad. But you know, you can have these long periods where you do badly, and so you don't really know like how um 
like when that what what the period of time is kind of anyway okay my guy's gonna win here i think he should c5 c5 just don't let that yes oh, no. very good this is gone <sighs> yeah this was, very this was good so embarrassing that yeah that that was these last two games were not not the best games ever <laughs> definitely not <laughs> so very polite without saying what the hell did you guys do yeah so it's it's one point one point lead with two games left so okay and so also our game will also be counted uh Hikaru, 20 seconds or one minute oh okay i mean if you want to that that only makes it more difficult for you unless you're your guys just <laughs> run, run it out and they just win every game here i accept it i accept this this trash talking yeah i mean maybe okay bishop d7 come on let's go let's castle queen no we can't castle with the queen let's castle queen side i'm what i was trying to say e5 open up your bishop let's go yeah i think i uh, know it, it's six it's six four i'm just looking it's six four yeah it's it's six oh. four right now yeah it is it's six four. Oh, that's awesome okay so there's no no pressure on my guy that's cool yeah i mean unless unless you guys lose the last two games and then you'll definitely lose so they have they have to get one point i think or no yeah they need to get one point to guarantee it and seems like it that this is going to be the game you know the thing with our uh, my lower boards is that they all know they say opening theory and all of that thank all thanks to you know sagar shah who teaches every uh, day on chess base so <laughs> what he does is he teaches in such a cute way you know like imagine he, he tries to personalize these pieces like talk to the pawn look at the pawn he wants to come out it's like a kid and mm -hmm. that way it's very easy to understand so i'm sure these guys know how to play their opening very well and it gives them a good position and then what they know is that if you're in a better position just exchange pieces right right so these exactly. two things mm -hmm. is what i think will help us on the lower boards it should although i have to ask i'm not sure that's what my my my, my guy watches i mean i see the indian flag but i also see uh i see levy's uh I see Levy's uh, face as well on um on on, ha, on the there, no. yes. Oh, so it's actually Levy versus Sagar Shah here, guys. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, man. Rohit, are you not patriotic, man? Let me let us win here, please. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's very, very tricky. I don't know what to make of this position. It's drawish. It's, it's, no it's draw. No, but I mean, I think this position is not draw. Somebody will win this game. I just don't know who's going to win. But one of Chess these two guys is definitely going to lose. Yeah. Okay. Now I Let's think now, now your guy will win, probably. Rook takes. Rook takes. King uh, f7, and then we yeah. win that pawn. Yeah. Win. I mean, your your guy should win this just because it's an end game, and neither of these and guys it, has to know can know this end game. That pawn is also hanging right on h4. Well, now there's a pawn hanging on h7 too. But he's 600 also. Right. Yeah, I mean, the, the side that has the extra pawn here should win the game. I but hope I mean, it's, it's not draw by repetition here, man. No, this, the, I don't think this will be a draw. Do you know, I had no idea about draw by 50 move rule until like, I was like 1500. Oh, really? Wow. Okay, don't... Yep, and that's it. That's an end passer. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, yeah. Wrong side of the board, yeah. Yeah, it's... So, it's... Hikaru. Yeah. How do you feel? Um, I feel amazing. I think I think you guys have played pretty well, actually. I mean, mo normally there's more drama, but I feel like your subs have just played better, objectively. I mean, like normally there's some crazy blunders, but I feel like the blunders in this have been pretty minimal. If I if I look at it, like you haven't seen like the crazy swing. Like the side that's normally better should win the game, and they have. So uh, also, yeah, as as we see, um, Sagara, of course, uh, clearly slightly better, slightly better. <laughs> Uh, we have a super chat from Sidhe Moth here. Sidhe Moth uh, Hikaru is one of the most amazing rap duos of India. They are uh, so good at what they do and they also follow chess. They've just got into chess. So they are saying, Hikaru, oh my god, this stream is fire. <laughs> this is... Huh? Uh? Alright, let's go. 7-4. Hmm. I know, Chad. We have already won the battle, but we have to also win the war at the end of this against Hikaru. <laughs> True. Although I think this is the war and that's a battle. This is the war. No, no, no. You're For me, that is after what you said to me, that 20 seconds, that option and all that, I'm so hurt, Hikaru. I'm going to go all out. <laughs> this is the war because I'm pretty sure the battle is going to go the other way.
<laughs> all right, all right. I like this. God, if you, if if you let me win today, I will every day pray. I'll pray every day. I'll go to the temple. I'll donate money. <laughs> Just if you are there, man, please, yeah. bro, help me out here. Thank you. All right, I've done my prayers. <laughs> Come on, what's happening? What's happening? <clears throat> Chat, I will seriously pray. I will seriously pray every day if I win. Would you're you you're gonna win again. This this game, you're also gonna win too. I think. I I don't care about this game anymore. It's about the next game. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We'll we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. Yeah, your guys have played pretty well. I mean, their their openings have been very good throughout. Um, so it's it's you, you have some very strong subs. Yeah. Oh, now F five F three. Mm hmm. F three is a move. It's a, it's a good move. It's not the best move though. Is it not? Yeah, it's 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 a it's a good move. Um, but the problem with, problem with f three is that yeah, h three is the right move. So f three hung the bishop on d three. It blocked the queen from guarding. Uh -huh. H three is actually h three is the best move. Oh, should I have taken with the queen maybe? Mm, no, that would have hung the bishop on d three. Oh man. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's put a mate on h7. Yes, that's right. Mm -hmm. Wait, what? No, there's a pawn in the way of the bishop. <laughs> let's see. Okay, we we might still win this. Just exchange the rooks. Come on, man. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah, no, this is uh, this is very very good. By the way, as people are saying, the 600 is kind of playing better than you do. <laughs> this is just uh, cyberbullying, guys. Please, <laughs> don't do this in the name of chess, man. I'll prove, I'll prove you all you guys wrong in the next match with Hikaru. I'll show you my true strength. Alright, alright. Just exchange everything. They're both playing pretty well, actually, from since a long time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, very, the, this is what I was saying. Normally, they're more like more crazy blunders. There's the one game with that uh, the, the end game, the queen, the queen, the one with point three. But other than that game, there haven't been many games with big, big swings like queens hanging and so forth. The super chat Hikaru also shares interest in finance, investment, stocks, Wall Street. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I've done I've done that for many years now. Uh, it's just something that I've looked mm -hmm. at. Although I think I think the thing is nowadays everyone's looking at it, so it's not it's not yeah. anymore. It's not that cool. Were you into Dogecoin by any chance? No, I wasn't. Because um, the problem is since I since I kind of started more like uh, in like I've always looked at like fundamentals. Like it's I can't just look at something if I can't assign a, a value to it. Like it's it's hard for me to speculate on something. Like I'll give you an example. One of the things that I spent a lot of time on in the past uh, was was looking at like biotechnology stocks. So it, it's very very speculative. But the thing is, it's based on an event happening. So it's like you know if if a company comes out with a drug that that sort of cures a certain cancer, for example. Um, then the stock maybe will go up or down a lot. But when I when I see something where I don't see the a reason or a catalyst, something that will make it go up or down, I can't really get that into it. Got it. Oh, meanwhile, hey, you're going to win. Yeah. Oh, man, <laughs> Actually, with a minute on down. the clock to spare, it's just like game over. Not even close. Oh, so officially, guys, yeah. we have won the sub battle. Chat, somewhere open in the chat. Yeah. So thank well, you so much, Ricardo. 
yeah, no problem. Man. I enjoyed it, and yeah, I'm sure we can do more in the future. For sure, man. I'm such a big fan, and I was like so nervous to be on the same stream with you. You know, I told you already on uh -huh. the text message. Like, right. I'm, so, so, I admire so, you so much, man. So remind me once again, what was what was the tweet that I needed to send out? Yeah. So yeah, the tweet's still there. That uh, whatever you feel like, man. Whatever you feel like. Whatever okay. you're comfortable in. Okay. All, all right. Okay. Yeah. But I'll, I'll make sure to send it out in the next like next thirty minutes or so. Okay. Sure. Sure, man. All Thank right. you so much for coming, man. It was so sweet of you to join me, and uh, so many you have so many fans in India, and the content you put is so good. Th congratulations on the one million subscribers. Thank and you, uh, I hope you have and, a great day, man. Yeah, thank you. And you'll be there soon too. And uh, nothing but the best. I mean, just keep on, keep on what you're doing for for chess in India. It's just, it's incredible so to much. watch.